when we're going to be grazing whole plant standing corn with beef cows, there's just a few things that we should be considering. First of all, you might have cows that have never seen whole plant corn, so we call those naive cows, so we'll have to slowly adapt these cows to this particular crop. Uh, because it's uh, pretty high in quality, ensure that your cows are full before putting them on that corn. Probably come in with a, some round bales to supplement, some hay, or possibly green feed. And then put them out there for two or three hours and just get them used to going after those whole plants. We'll find out too that when you're grazing the corn, these cows are going to be really selective. They're going to go through that paddock and they're going to pick the cobs in the first day. So that's why we're recommending giving them two to three days of corn. The first day they're going to concentrate on, on eating those those cobs and then day two and three we're going to ask them to step up there and, and, and eat the stock and stover to ensure that there's good uh, utilization of the crop and, and uh, a low rate of residue left behind. So there's just some management factors there to watch for. Another thing that we should look at is manage and monitor. Uh, we know that there is a lot of grain in those corn cobs and so there is the issue possibly of founder or grain overload, so make sure you're managing and monitoring your cows. Make sure there's a good water supply out there for them, a, a frost free nose pump or possibly winter watering system. Um, some producers will be using snow grazing, ensure there's an adequate depth there for snow grazing and lots of it. Uh, the other issue too is make sure there's a good mineral package in front of them. Cows are going to need a good calfoss and trace mineral package uh, as well as a salt product. So, these are all factors to consider when you're going to graze corn. A little bit about our varieties here. Uh, input costs are, are certainly there when you're grazing corn. They are a little higher than swath grazing barley or, or possibly crop residue. Uh, our calculated input costs for this particular study are anywhere in the range of $195 to $220 per acre in, in terms of these five different varieties. Uh, that includes the uh, actual harrowing, cultivating, fertilizer inputs, and seed costs. Seed costs are going to run about $195 to $220 a bag. There's roughly 80,000 seeds per bag, and uh, one bag will, will seed roughly two and a half acres. Finally, uh, we've done some quick calculations on the uh, performance of these five varieties. They've yielded dry matter basis anywhere from four to five ton per acre. That's pretty good biomass uh, for, a, for an extensive grazing system. And we've also done some quick calculations on uh, animal grazing days or cow grazing days per acre. We're getting roughly 150 to 320 grazing days depending on the variety. And working that through to cost per cow per day, we're getting roughly 70 cents per cow per day up to $1.40 per cow per day based on the variety. So the field we're standing in, um, this is where we had our, our corn trial. Um, this, this field is approximately 30 acres in size. For our field prep to get ready for the corn in 2011, that included heavy harrowing. Um, we had one cultivation pass. Um, our granular nitrogen was custom applied with a row gator uh, at a rate of 120 pounds of N per acre. The fertilizer was harrowed in um, following the application. And then the corn was seeded with a John Deere corn planter on June 1st, 2011. Um, we used a rate of 26,200 seeds per acre and the depth was 1.5 inches. This rate is slightly lower than the usual recommended rate of 30,000 seeds per acre um, because we actually got it seeded a little bit later um, in the season than what is probably ideal. You're probably more looking at the closer to the end of May. This field was then sprayed once on June 11th with Roundup herbicide at a rate of 1.5 liters per acre. Um, we had a considerable weed flush later on in the season, um, so it probably would have benefited from a second spray application, but we only gave them the one, the one application. So we have five varieties planted here. Um, there were three Pioneer varieties, one Highland variety, and one Monsanto variety, and these are all Roundup Ready varieties. Um, there's approximately between five and six acres per variety. And this corn grew pretty slowly until about July when we got some heat, and then it really took off after that. We had our first frost on October 9th of 2011. We started grazing the cows on the first variety on November 19th. How we fenced it was um, the corn varieties were separated using high tensile wire and then um, we made smaller paddocks within each variety. This was made with poly wire um, in order to limit the cows access to the corn. 
The cows were given enough corn to last them approximately two to three days of grazing. Once they were finished grazing one variety, then they moved on to the next variety. When you're looking at these extensive grazing systems, ensure that you're going to put corn in for, for, for grazing in the fall or the winter time, possibly right up to calving. Use corn grazing in complement with swath grazing or bale grazing or crop residue grazing. or Have two or three options out there in case one particular crop just doesn't perform or there's a drought or some early frost issue. So it's really imperative that you have a planning process and using corn grazing with other extensive grazing systems. Corn is a warm season crop. It's very sensitive to heat units. Uh, ensure that, that your soil's warm enough uh, when you're going out there and seeding that crop. But another real issue with corn is it doesn't do well in terms of weed pressure. So ensure that you have proper weed control, as Leah already stated, and any issue with, with weed pressure will certainly affect your yield. And so that's why we're saying when you're seeding this crop, don't shortcut. Make sure you do everything correct agronomically. Ensure that you're taking care of those weeds and having a nice clean field for your corn to grow and, and, and yield very well.